As an engineering professional, you should know as much as possible about your discipline, of course, and be confident in what you know, but you won't always have the answers. In this week's Engineering Management Lessons video, Morgan Neesmith, award-winning engineering director at Burkle & Company Contractors, is gonna share a leadership lesson that he learned that can help you just kind of come to grips with not always having the answer. Morgan, what is that leadership lesson? This video is brought to you by Collier's Engineering and Design. Collier's Engineering and Design provides multidiscipline engineering architecture design and consulting services to public and private clients. Their comprehensive suite of services offers everything from civil site development to transportation and energy through a nationwide network of offices. Collier's Engineering and Design values their employees and takes pride in their culture. With a focus on professional development and a family atmosphere, some of their offerings are a comprehensive mentorship program, a hybrid work environment, and competitive benefit packages. For more information about how you can join their team, find them on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, or visit their website at colliersengineering.com. Yeah, um, I've often heard and I often hear people uh, encourage younger engineers to be comfortable and confident with what they know. And I agree with that. It is very important. Um, and if you are comfortable with um, where you are in a given situation, you should participate and speak up. And I think that's great advice. But I think uh, what I have learned and what I would really want to stress is it's important to be confident, but also very, very comfortable with what you don't know. That is, it is perfectly okay to be in a situation that you haven't encountered in your career before, uh, particularly in a young engineer, as a young engineer and clients and the people you work with are going to appreciate much more if you look at them and say, I don't know, but I will go find that out and we can sort that out and I'll get back to you, however that you wanna handle that. Uh, because then when you do speak, um, they will take you much more seriously because they know that you're being honest with them. Thank you, Morgan, for that. It's such a great piece of advice. I see this all the time, especially with recent graduates or younger engineering professionals where you get into a situation, it's high pressure, there's a big project, a big budget on the line, and you're asked for information. And the thing that I think we need to realize is that if you give the wrong information, lives could be at stake. If you give a piece of technical information that's inaccurate and a contractor goes in and builds something based off of that, it could be devastating. So to Morgan's point, you have to be able to say, I don't know the answer to this question, but I understand the importance and the urgency, and I'm gonna get you an answer as soon as possible. Let me get with my team and make sure we get you the right answer. And over the long term, Taking that approach will greatly benefit your engineering career. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. We publish videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better managers and leaders. Be sure to subscribe to our channel here to be sure that you're getting our videos so that we can help you engineer your own success. I'll see you next week.